What's going on guys? We're at Cars and Coffee in Grand Rapids and we're gonna see what the car owners do for a living. What's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Alan Charnley. I'm from Lapeer, Michigan. So can you tell us a little bit about your car? Well, uh, it's a 2022 uh, Lamborghini Huracan. Um, I bought it, uh, well, last, last spring I ordered it in April and it came in January 1st in a snowstorm. So oh, really? <laughs> didn't want to drive it in the snow, so I, I had it shipped down to Florida and we, uh, we were down there for like a month and so <clears throat> kind of broke it in down in Florida. So nice. it's a lot, of, a lot of fun to drive. Yeah. What, how many miles does it have on it? I have uh, 2,200 on it now. And then what inspired you to get the purple? Um, actually, I saw two of them down in Florida, and uh, they both had black wheels, but with this dark of a color, I kind of like the silver wheels, so I, I specced it with the 20-inch silver wheels. Um, but yeah, I saw a convertible and a coupe down in Florida, and I said, I love that color. How much do these run, usually? Um, well, their list price is 209000 but by the time you add in all the extras, it's ends up being about 280000 What do you do for a living or what have you done in the past? Um, I'm a retired dentist. I worked for 40 years as a dentist in Lapeer, Michigan. Last question, what advice would you give to the younger generation that wants to be successful or own a car like this? Uh, save your money. <laughs> we, we always lived well below our means and saved and so after getting my boys both through college and grad school, uh, and having grandkids now, I can have something fun like this. So, What's your name and where are you from? Andy Serdakis. I'm from here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Can you tell us a little bit about your car? Yep, this was a, a car I designed and built here uh, in Grand Rapids for the SEMA show. Uh, in 2021, we revealed it in the Gentex booth. It's an all-carbon wide body um, C8, obviously, and then all-exposed forged carbon also. How many miles on it and then how many miles do you put on per year? We only have 1,200 miles on it now. Uh, I probably put 1,000 miles on it a year driving it. Okay. And then how much is it worth? That's a, that's a wild card question. I'm not sure, but we were offered at SEMA uh, three to $400,000 for it. Could you tell us what do you do for a living to get a car like this? I actually build cars for a living. So my shop is Lavo Motorsports. That's who designed and built this car. Um, and then we have some other cars out here also that we built. Well, we're an exotic European and kind of like custom automotive facility here. Do you have any advice for the next generation that wants to be successful or to get a car like this? What would you recommend doing? Our biggest thing is, is don't be scared to go out and fail. You know, like uh, we've, I've had a lot of failures throughout my 15, 20 year career. And um, you know, when you're down, nobody's looking at you. But when you come up, that's when everybody sees you. So they, I think people have a false perception of it being very easy and you have to be willing to struggle and do what it takes to, to get to that point to afford something fun or you know, reward yourself in whatever way you think uh, is best. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Stephen Wolf. I'm from Grand Rapids. Nice to meet you. Wonderful to meet you as well. Can you tell us a little bit about your car and how much it might be worth? Alrighty, so this is an Alpina B8. Um, these are pretty hard to come by because uh, they're very limited allocations. Um, obviously, nice, pretty Alpina green on it. Just a special car. Alpina makes probably about 3,000 cars a year for their entire you know, production line for the world, um, so you don't see them. Market on it is probably about 165, 170,000 um, with options, but again, you know, that varies on what you do with them. What do you do for a living to obtain something like this? Finance. Any more, like investing, any more? Uh, industrial liquidation. What advice would you give to the younger generation on how to be successful or to get a nice car like this? Own your own business. You'll never make that incredible amount of money working for someone else. What's your name and where are you from? Alex Kanan from Grand Rapids, Michigan. So could you tell us a little bit about your car and how much it's worth? Sure. So this is a 2020 Bentley GTC. It's uh, worth $250,000. Um, this is the 100 years edition anniversary. Yeah, this is the new uh, body style that came out with. So after 2019, that's the new body style with it. And then how many miles does it have on it? And how many do you put on it per year? Uh, it's got 6,000 miles on it. I barely put any miles on it. Okay. So driving a summer, a summer toy. And then what do you do for a living or what have you done in the past? Oh, some car washes and quick loops as well as some real estate. And did you go to college at all? Uh, no, no. Just Work hard, man. What advice would you give to the next generation to become successful? Just work hard, man. Work hard. What's your name and where are you from? Mike Erspommer. I'm from Grand Rapids. Can you tell us a little bit about your car and how much it might be worth? Uh, well, it's a 1966 uh, Jaguar E-Type Coupe. 
uh, Series 1. And uh, I think uh, the value today, it's hard to say, but I would say a minimum of 100000 But uh, I've seen them go for over 200000 So it, it all depends on the condition and the uh, originality of the parts. And then what do you do for a living or what did you do for a living in the past? Well, I was a FDA investigator for 30 years and uh, then I uh, consulted for another 20 years after I retired. Now I'm fully retired okay. and I enjoy coming to car show. Last question, what advice would you give to the next generation on how to get a car like this or to be successful? Well, to get a car like this, you can either buy one that somebody has already restored or you can do what I do. I bought this car for $16,000 and it, it needed uh, basically everything. And uh, so I did that over a couple of years time. That's the way to do it. What's your name and where are you from? Uh, Rafael, I'm from Dominican Republic, but I live here in Grand Rapids. Tell us a little bit about your car. Uh, I got a 570 McLaren 2018 and really nice car. The reason I buy it, because it's one of my dream car. When I started growing up, I watched TV, watch movie, and I said, yeah, when I get a chance to get one of these cars, so I want to get a McLaren. $187,000 for that car. Uh, I grabbed it from Wisconsin and uh, I love my car. <laughs> yeah. And then what do you do for a living or what did you do for a living in the past? I got an auto repair. I got an auto repair shop in Grand Rapids, over here in Grand Rapids. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then last question, what advice would you give to the younger generation on how to be successful? Guys, they're growing up. Uh, Try to get away from trouble and go to school and work. Yeah, the only way you can get one of this car like that, you need to work hard. What's your name and where you're from? Mario, Caledonia, Michigan. Just tell me a little bit about your car and how much it might be worth. It's a 21 wide body red eye. Um, I'd say probably low to mid 90s right now. And how many miles do you plan on putting on it like per year? Uh, as much as I can, but with working so much, um, it's probably a couple thousand a year. What do you do for a living? I run a security company. And then for advice for the future generation on how to be successful or to get a car like this, what would you do or what is your advice? Uh, just work hard, save your money, um, plan for a big down payment or pay it all in cash. Do you think owning your own business helps you achieve this? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Did you go to school, or like college or anything? Yeah, I did a few years of college in California. What's your name and where are you from? Paul from Grand Rapids. First question, could you just tell us a little bit about your car? Yeah, absolutely. So this is a 2012 Audi GT, or R8 GT, and it's one of 333 that were manufactured worldwide and then one of approximately 120 in North America. And then how much might this be worth? Depends on mileage and various other things, but I would say market range right now is about 125 to 150. And then how many miles does it have on it and how many miles gets put on it per year? So this one I recently picked up, but it's got 15,000 miles on it. So I'll probably put a couple thousand miles on it a year, rotating between what I have my collection. And then what do you do for a living or what have you done in the past? Yeah, so I, I work in IT um, and I've done various roles, but uh, I'm the director of platforms and integrations for a software company. Did you go to college at all to work in this field? I did go to college, but I'm not using uh, a, a technical background. I actually went to college for business. So I have a BBA in management and an MBA in international business. Last question, what advice would you give to the younger generation on how to be successful or to get a car like this? Definitely do your research and ensure that you're setting yourself up for success with investments. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Tim and I'm from here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Could you tell us a little bit about your car and how much it might be worth? So this is a 2011 Nissan GTR R35. Uh, value I'm not sure because it's actually a rebuilt title, but the value of cars have gone through the roof, so I'm actually not sure. So What do you do for a living? I own a business. What area are you in? 
Uh, e-commerce. What advice do you have for the future generations that want to get a car like yours or someone here to be successful? Always follow your goals because I started five years ago. This was my dream and I just built, found any type of in that I can to make extra cash, worked extra hard and ended up finding a good deal on a car and just push through and move forward. What's your name? Where are you from? Kurt Burmeister, Caledonia, Michigan. Can you tell us a little bit about your car? Lamborghini Performante Spider. All the aftermarket was done by Label Motorsports. Okay. I've had it for a couple years. Awesome. Great car, fun to drive. One of, I have uh, four others. I figured I'd bring this one because it's a Spider today, nice weather. And then how many miles does it have on it and how many do you put on per year? It's got a couple thousand miles on it. I, I, I travel a fair amount. I'm lucky if I put 600 miles on it a year. And then how much is it worth? As it sits, probably about 425. What do you do for a living or what did you do in the past to obtain this? Uh, I'm in the food business. So odds are, wherever you grocery shop, in any state in the country, you're buying something from me. I'm just gonna take a guess, is it Meyer? No, Meyer is regional here. Meyer is one of my customers. Oh. Okay, I got you. Do you have any advice for the younger generation on how to be successful or to get a car like this? Uh, you know, really, it's, it's funny because find something that you totally enjoy, and then it's not work. It's more or less a hobby. Right. What I do for work to me is a hobby. I just happen to do okay with it. Um, figure out what your passion is and chase after it. And get hard work. There is no substitute for hard work. Hard work gets you what you want. You can, This is the greatest country in the world. You work, you can have whatever you want. What's your name and where are you from? Uh, Chad Kristen, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Can you tell us a little bit about your car? Uh, it's a 2007 Ferrari F430, 490 horsepower. How many miles does it have and how many do you put on it per year? Uh, I bought it with 9,800 miles on it. It currently has 11,000 miles on it, uh, so about 1,000 miles. And then do you know how much it's worth? Uh, it's probably worth about 180 right now. What do you do for a living to obtain this? Uh, I'm actually a business owner. I, I build houses. What advice would you give to the next generation or your younger self to be successful or to get a nice car like this? Uh, my advice is buy assets, don't buy liabilities, and have your assets be able to pay for toys like this. All right. Could you just tell us a little bit about your car and how much it might be worth? It is a 2021 a Ford Shelby GT500. Um, current worth is probably anywhere from one fifty to $150,000, depending on what options. This one actually has the painted stripes with a carbon fiber track back, which is a more rare version of this car. And the secondary market's pretty hot on them right now and hard yeah. to get them. And how many miles do you put on per year about? Um, I've only had the car about a month now. Oh. Um, but I would say I will probably put on no more than by 2,000, 2,500 miles in a year on it. What do you do for a living or what did you do for a living to obtain this car? Um, I work for a food distribution company. I work in uh, human resources. Do you have any advice to the next generation on how to be successful or to get something like a car like this? You know, when you're younger and, and, and look at cars like these, like, I'll never have money to get cars like these. You have to start small. I started with like an 85 5.0 when I was in my 20s. You know, yeah, make good financial decisions, put yourself in a position to, to get cars. That's great advice. Thank you. And also, go Lions. Go Lions. Let's yes. go. This is the year. Let's this go. This is the year. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below which car was the coolest and which one you would want to drive. Peace.